Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Where in the World is Amanda? And Brett. <laughs> Today we're going to give you a tour of our stateroom. We are in cabin number 7430 and I have this little card right here. This is called your sign and sale card. It's also your key card for your room. So, we're going to come in. You just put it in just like a hotel room key. And here we go. Ooh. Brad just tried to take his elbow out coming in the room. <laughs> so this is our room. That's the entrance. Um, here coming in, we have closet space here. When Brad comes this way, we'll open one up so we can show you. I'll let him walk on in the room. Get out of the way. So just to show you what our closet looks like. There's Brad in the mirror, probably kind of messy in here but we always unpack our bags so that it's easier to find everything and then this one has got hang-up clothes in it and this one has just got more hang-up clothes just like this one and we have a nice little vanity here with all of our stuff on it <laughs> and there's also drawers and we unpack all of our stuff in the drawers too there and then there's a smaller drawer we have this nice mirror and then over here is our TV. Not a very big TV, but it works fine for this room because the room is not that big, so you don't need that big of a TV, right? And then in here, we have a little safe, and these are just our little fans that we brought with us in case we needed them. And if you've noticed yet, we have towel animals in our room. So every day when the stateroom steward comes in and makes up our room and cleans up, he leaves us a towel animal. And so we've collected towel animals over the, the days of the crew so far. And there's another one down there on the bottom shelf. But we'll go back this way real quick. There's also a nice little stool under here. So if you wanted to sit here and like brush your hair or do your makeup, or if you have your laptop and you need to do work like I do, then you could sit there and do that. In this cabinet, we have a little mini refrigerator. We've got a few little drinks in there. And then we've got ice bucket and a couple of glasses and a big bottle of water. And then I'm gonna let Brad turn around this way. So over here we've got a nice couch and this couch will actually pull out to be a bed too. So if there was more people in here in the cabin with us, I'm not good. Yeah. Then we have a little reading light there and bedside tables and these lights just turn on right here like that and then of course our bed and this is actually two twin size beds so if like say you and your best friend are traveling together you can have the bed separated instead of together and then here's our other towel animals and we have a balcony on our room. I'm gonna leave my key card there. We have a balcony on our room. It's dark outside right now though. But if you hit that button right there, babe. See if our light comes on. Here we go. We have a light out here. So we have a nice little balcony and there's a couple of chairs here to sit in. And we're actually pulling out a port. So port's over there. And you can see the ocean a little bit here. And actually, right if you turn around and look that way a little bit, you can see the whole thing. So that's a nice view that we have from our balcony. We'll come back out, or come back into the room. So I'm sure that a lot of you are wondering if we could maybe sleep on our balcony or if we could leave the door propped open so we would have ocean air coming in. And it's really, really humid outside, which makes it just sticky. And so you wanna keep your balcony door shut, you know, whether you're already out on the balcony or in the room so that you don't get all that humidity into your room because it gets really hot. But we do, so we have our little towel animals here, but you can also, 
pull this curtain shut so when you're sleeping you don't have to worry about the sun coming in and waking you up if you want to sleep in a little later and then i think the only thing we haven't shown you yet is the bathroom so let's show you that so this is our bathroom and we've got our swimsuits hanging here but if you come in it's not a very big space at all but it's big enough to do what you need to do so you've got a sink over here i'm going to step back so brad can show you so we've got a sink there and then we've got the toilet toilets are not usually very exciting however i'm going to show you it looks like just a normal toilet right but watch what happens when or listen to it that's crazy right it has this crazy powerful suction to make sure that it flushes and it doesn't clog so this is our little shower and it's nothing fancy but again big enough to do what you need to do big enough to take a bath and it's got a little curtain there and that's it on the bathroom and that's pretty much it on the room i would say it's a it's a nice room there are multiple different types of rooms that you can get on a cruise ship. There are ones called an interior cabin and they're in the center of the ship and they don't have any windows. And then there's ocean view cabin and those would be kind of similar to this cabin, but wouldn't have the balcony. They would just have a window. And then we have a balcony cabin like this. And then they have rooms that are called a suite, which are bigger than this and usually have bigger balconies. But this is our favorite kind of room. It's kind of the sweet spot right in the middle. Uh, so other than that, I don't think there's anything else to show you in our stateroom. Is there anything else you can think of, Brad, that we need to add to it? Nope. Nope. All right. Thank you guys so much for joining us again on another day of Where in the World is Amanda? And Brad. <laughs> and we will see you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching.